Okay, now for 13 part C. And it says, show that dn dt equals 1 over p n minus 1 over q n squared. Now, this question did seem a bit tough in the beginning. In the beginning, actually, you think it's going to be pretty easy. You said, oh, we have to just differentiate. Sorry about that. Okay, in the beginning, um, basically, we have it tells us basically we have to differentiate this Newton expression, and then we'll get something that looks like this. So let's just start. It says n equals 240 over 1 plus k e to the power of negative t over 16. Okay, so let's just get this ready for differentiation. So we're going to write this bracket, which is as a denominator, as a numerator. 1 plus ke to the power of minus t over 16 to the power of negative 1. So here we have a situation where you have a function inside a bracket to the power of something. And we want to differentiate it. We can use a chain rule. So we can just multiply, we can divide dn by dt. We're differentiating with respect to t. We're finding dn dt. So first you multiply by the power, so you have minus 1 times 240, which is minus 240. And then you have the bracket as it is, without any modification. But then you've got to take one away from the power. Just like when you differentiate normally. Multiply by the power, take one away from the power. But as there's a function inside this bracket, inside this function, we have to multiply by the differential of what's inside the function. So we're multiplying by the differential of k e to the power of minus t over 16, okay, with respect to t. So when you, multiply, when, you, when you differentiate e to the power of something, it doesn't change. It stays exactly as it is, okay? So the differential of k e, k e to the power of anything will be k e to the power of the same thing, okay? However, again, you have inside this function, you have another function, which is minus t over 16. So again, we have to multiply by the differential of what's inside this function, which is t minus t over 16. The differential of minus t over 16 with respect to t is minus 1 over 16. Okay, so that's the differential we get. Now, what you notice, you've got a minus and a minus that multiplying, so it gives you positive. You've got 24 divided by 240 divided by 16. Okay, so you've got 240 divided by 16. So 240 divided by 16 which gives us 15, so that's going to be positive 15, okay, times, and then you've got k and e to the power of minus t over 16, multiplied by 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 to the power of minus 2, okay, that's what we've got so far, we just simplified these together, um, and now this can be rewritten <coughs> with this as a denominator with a positive power, this bracket. So you've got 15 k e to the power of minus t over 16 divided by 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 to the power of minus 2. Okay, so that's your dn dt so far. Okay, however, when you look back up what it's supposed to look like, I'll take a snapshot of that so that we can keep it down there. It seems like, uh oh, how are we gonna? How on earth are we gonna make it look like this? Okay, we also need to have this as well, I guess. So let's drag it down. We also need to have this there. Okay, so we're gonna have to make it look like this. And we're going to have an n in there, so we should see what n looks like. All right, so we're going to make this look like that. Okay. Whoops, what did I do wrong? That's supposed to say positive too. So then brought it down. Be careful about these things. Okay, so that has to somehow end up looking like this. All right. Now, what we could do here is, um, I mean, if you think about it, you see that this is one fraction, okay? And this is two separate fractions, one, two, okay? 
So how do you make one fraction into separate fractions? Now, in your mind, should come in, in, what should come into your mind at that stage is partial fractions. Okay, partial fractions is when you take one fraction and you split it up into different fractions. But that's only when you have, um, you know, a product of factors in the denominator, which we actually do. Okay, and then a bell should ring in your mind because you have a product of factors here. Okay, and here we're going to have an n squared and have an n. And if you remember, okay, if you have a product of a, a repeated factor, that splits up in a special way when we're doing partial fractions. So what we can say is this is like, um, we can say that 15 e to the power of minus t over 16 divided by 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 to the power of 2 can be written as a over, and you have a repeated factor, remember you're going to have to have one of them that's going to be squared, and you're going to have the other one that's not squared. Okay, if you remember that from when you do partial fractions. Okay, so you have a, a constant over the repeated factor squared plus a constant over the repeated factor not squared. Okay, so then with partial fraction, remember we have to cross multiply here. So we have um, this is a times. No, actually we have to multiply everything. Sorry, no, we have to multiply everything by one plus k e to the power of minus t over sixteen squared, which means this will cancel out. So you're left with just a here, and you're going to have b times just one of these factors. So it'll be b times one plus k e to the power of minus t over sixteen, and that's equal to. 15 e to the power of minus t over 16. That's when you multiply everything, every term by the, the, the else of the denominator, which is 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 squared. Okay, so now what we can do here, we can say, okay, let's just um, compare the, the uh, let's compare the constants, okay? Well, let's, let's compare the coefficients of e minus t over 16. Okay, we can just do that. We can just do that. So compare, we're going to compare the, the coefficients of e to the power of, of sorry, there's supposed to be a k here, isn't there? Some coefficients. Yeah, sorry, I left out k. Don't make mistakes like that. If there was a k, I didn't write down here. Okay, so compare the coefficients of 15k, e, oh sorry, of k e to the power of mi minus t over 16. Um, the only term like that would be b times k e to the power of minus t over 16 on this side. So you can say 15 is equal to b. Comparing the coefficients of this. So if you expand this side, you'll have a plus b plus b k e to the power of minus t over 16. On this side, you've got 15 k e to the power of minus t over 16. They're identical to each other. Therefore, that means b must be 15. Okay? And we know also, on this side, the, the constants are zero. You've got zero plus this, and here you've got a plus b as a constant. So we know that a plus b equals zero. So that means we know a must be, if b is 15, a is minus 15. Okay, so that's 15, a is minus 15. So we know that a is 15, minus 15, and b is 15. So now I can rewrite this, this 15 k e to the power of minus t over 16 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16. I can rewrite this as minus 15 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 12, so sorry, t over 16 squared plus b is 15, so plus 15 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16. And now we're kind of getting closer to what we need. Okay, so let me just take a couple of things here onto the other page. In fact, I could just go lower here or go under the page. You can't do this in the real exam, but I'll do that. But let me take this down with me. Okay, I just want to show you. We need both of these to see okay, how things pan out. All right, so. In the real exam, we've been turned over the page by now. I'm just going to put these over there. 
Okay, so now <clears throat> we got to make this look like that. Now, what you notice here, okay, you got a squared n, you got an n, and n is going to have something to do with this. So we have 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16, and we have 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 squared, but we don't have two 40s above them. We want to have two 40 above them. Well, one of them has to be squared. Okay, so this one has to be, the top has to be like 240 squared. Then you'll have 240 squared over 1 plus k e to the power minus t over 16 squared. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, the idea of, in, uh, of um, equivalent fractions. So if I take the first fraction, minus 15 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 squared, and I multiply, I want to have 250 squared on top. 250 squared over this squared will give me n squared, okay? But if I multiply the top by 240 squared, I have to multiply the bottom by 240 squared as well. Now, this is the same fraction as it was in the start, okay? Except now, you've got in this form 240 squared over 1 plus k e to the, e to the power of minus t over 16 squared. And the other fraction I have here, Okay, is one it's going to have just the, the n on its own, which is 240 over 1 plus k over k e to the power of minus t over 16. Um, so I want to have a 240 on top here. So if I take this fraction and I have 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16, and I multiply the numerator by 240, I've got this is going to be my n. But as I multiply the, the numerator by 240, I have to multiply the denominator by 240, otherwise the fraction won't be the same. So now what I'm left with, I'm left with minus 15 over 240 squared, okay, times 240 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16, all squared, plus, and I'm going to have <coughs> 15 over 240 times um, 240 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 all right and that's my dn dt now what we can say is <coughs> we can say that n is equal to this n is equal to 240 over 1 plus k e to the power of minus t over 16 so I can replace this one okay with n squared so I have minus uh, 15 over 240 squared let's find out what that is we've got 15 divided by 240 squared, just a 240 squared, that's 1 over 3840, so you've got minus 1 over 3840 times, and this is your n squared, and you've got plus and 15 over 240, 15 divided by 240, which gives you 1 over 16, that's 1 over 16 times, and this is n. So we got it in the form that was required. 1 over Pn, okay, which is this. So let's just rewrite it in this way. So it's 1 over 16n minus uh, 1 over 3840n squared. So we've, got, we've actually done what we needed to do. Um, that was a pretty tough question, to be honest. Took me a little thinking to get to that stage. But the, the key... And the key point where I realized what to do was when I thought, this is one fraction and this is two fractions. How do you make one fraction into two fractions? And then partial fractions came into my head. And then repeated roots came into my head. And then that's exactly how repeated roots work out. You have one of them squared, one of them not squared. Okay? So you've got to be very careful about making silly mistakes and stuff. But don't ever give up when you've got a question like this. I know there's a time restraint for you guys as well. And I didn't even record the video because it was not fun.